A brief programming reminder, up next is Dog vs. Dog, the show where two stuffed dogs debate the issues of the day, the question being considered in today's episode, who is to blame for the Celebgate photo leaks? Tomorrow morning in this time slot, You Had to Ask, where Steve fills out his upload schedule by mining viewer comments for easy content. Hi everybody, this is going to be a slight alteration in our regularly scheduled programming. This is usually the slot where I would upload a new Steven Stuffy video for the week, but the thing is, I feel like shit today. My allergies are bothering me, my nose has been running like crazy, and I have a brief <laughs> respite where I feel like the symptoms have abated for a little bit, but I just don't feel up to shooting and editing a full Steven Stuffy video today. So instead of that, I've organized a little impromptu session of Dog vs. Dog. This is the point-counterpoint show where Stuffy and Toby Benson come together to debate a topic of discussion, something that a lot of people on the internet are talking about. We've done one of these before. It's been a couple years ago. Most of you might not remember it, but we're going to do it again. And uh, the topic that we have chosen to debate today for this episode of Dog vs. Dog is the question of who is really to blame for the celebrity photo leaks, the celebgate photo leaks. Who is really at fault for those? And joining me to debate this question, first joining me via his webcam from the living room is Stuffy. Stuffy, how are you? Welcome. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here to discuss this topic. Okay, and also joining me uh, via webcam from his Krav Maga dojo in downtown Hagerstown is Toby Benson. Toby, how are you? What's up, baby? Let's do this thing. All right, so uh, you guys both have uh, points to make. You have prepared statements to read. We'll have you read your prepared statements, and then from there we'll maybe have some crosstalk. So, Stuffy, I believe you are up first, my friend. Thank you. The question before us is, who is to blame for the Celebgate photo leaks? The people to blame for the so-called Celebgate photo leaks are the hackers who broke into private accounts, stole the photos, and distributed them across the internet. Sorry, was that it? Was that all for you, Stuffy? Yes. Okay then, now with a counterpoint, here is Toby Benson. Yeah, it was the hackers, baby. Uh, and, and that's it from you too? Yeah. Wow, okay. Something wrong, baby? I was hoping for a bit more disagreement, to be honest. I know there are those who want to place blame for the photo hacks, at least partially on the celebrities whose pictures were stolen, but that's just victim blaming. The crime isn't having something that was stolen, the crime is stealing that something. Well, yeah, I expected you to say that, but I thought that <laughs> Toby Benson would at least try to justify it somehow. Justify what? The hacking of the pictures, or at least looking at the pictures. I don't need to justify shit, baby. People stole the pictures. That was wrong. I looked at the pictures. That was wrong, too. Only thing that wasn't wrong was taking the pictures in the first place, baby. So, you don't feel the need to justify you looking at stolen pictures by attempting to place some of the blame for that on the people who took the pictures or uploaded them to the cloud in the first place? Fuck no, baby. I mean, I've done some fucked up shit in my time, but at least I know that it was fucked up. I'm not a monster, baby. I looked at the pictures. I knew that shit was wrong, but I did it anyway. I can admit that shit, I can live with that shit, but if I tried to blame it on the people that got stole from, I would be a piece of shit. Okay. You see what I did there, baby? Yep, I got it. Stuffy, anything else to say on this topic? I would just like to remind everyone that celebrities often take their clothes off consensually for movies and photo shoots that are meant to be shared with the public, and these pictures and movies are incredibly easy to find. So if you like seeing famous people naked, perhaps you should look into that or professional pornography or erotica where all parties involved have consented and which is so easy to find on the internet that it sometimes pops up even when you aren't looking for it. 
All right. Well, thanks everyone for joining us for this uh, special edition of Dog vs. Dog. It didn't quite go how I thought it would, but uh, I think it was... You'll not be wrapping up this shit show before I've had me say. If any of you bastards watching are thinking of breaking into my personal files and spreading them across the internet for all to see, I've only got one thing to tell you. I hope you like it better when you don't have a house or a car or a job or living members of your immediate family, or flesh unscarred by the hot kiss of righteous fire. Jack, I didn't actually invite you to this, so... Oh, I wasn't invited. Jack McPherson, you're not supposed to be here. Well, then maybe next time you should tell Toby Benson not to stay signed into his email when I'm around. <laughs> okay, that's just... What did you think was going to happen? Thank you, Jack. Nobody in this bloody bar has moved a muscle since I started talking. Bye, everybody.